guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can organize your semester using only spreadsheets. By the way, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. They're an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in so many things like design, business, art, and more. So if you want to supplement your current skill set or learn something new, Skillshare is a wonderful place to get started to help you develop professionally and also feel your creativity. They have multiple video lessons. For example, you can learn how to use Microsoft Excel in so many ways, and that's exactly the program that I'm using today in this video. They are really affordable. The annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And with that, you join a community of more than 7 million creators all learning with Skillshare. There's a link in the description box below and the first 500 people to sign up will get two months of Skillshare free. So please check them out. Now, in terms of organizing your semester using spreadsheets, what I've done is essentially I created a workbook that is dedicated to all the deadlines, assignments, quizzes, exams, and expenses for one semester. So in this workbook, I have three calendars, one for each month of the semester. I have a spreadsheet that is dedicated to all the assignments for all of my courses. And then also another worksheet that is dedicated specifically to deadlines for quizzes and exams. Now, the reason why I chose Microsoft Excel for this is because the spreadsheet format is so customizable and it's also compact so I can have everything with me in one place. With that said, the monthly calendars also include more personal events like doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, and whatnot. The calendar is just basically an amalgamation of all the dates that are in the other spreadsheets, which would be under assignments and quizzes and exams. Now, Microsoft Excel does come with a template for it. All you have to do when you start a new workbook is to search for a calendar template, and it's gonna be one of the first ones that come up in the results. As you change the year, the month, and which day of the week you want your calendar to start with, the dates on the calendar will automatically change accordingly. And you can basically just have fun and customize the colors and the overall look of the calendar to your liking. I also make it easy for me to visualize when I'll be working by highlighting the dates and color coding them in yellow for day shift and blue for night shift, which you'll see on the June calendar. If you're wondering why some boxes are grayed out, I've essentially grayed out the days where I don't have classes. It just makes it easier for me to visualize which days I am actively going to class. Any deadlines, exams, or quizzes, I just put on the date and also highlight and bold them in red. Under each calendar, I've also added a table where I track my expenses for the month. So I gave myself $60 a month on non-essential items like coffee, tea, and other fun shopping things. This semester, I'm really trying hard to just save my money. So as I add each expense, it will automatically subtract from the total so I can kind of just track how I'm doing with my budget. Now on the assignment sheet, I've basically combined all of my courses for the semester, well, the theory courses at least, and I've laid out all the readings and all the assignments that are due for these two courses. So I have the due date on the left side and then the courses on the right side. I'm also using a color coding method to just track the progress of my readings. So if it's in green, it means that I finished it and I've understood it. If it's in yellow, it means I'm working on it, I'm not finished, or I don't quite understand some of the material. And I'll write it in the notes in the next column to just specify where I'm having trouble. I really like this because instead of having to go through each course's syllabus to find these assignments and readings, I just have them all in one place for a quick referral. As always, I like to make any deadline for projects or assignments and also examinations stand out to make sure that I don't forget it. Because quizzes and exams are so important to me, I made a spreadsheet that is dedicated just to the deadlines for these things. So here you can see I've put in the dates where I have quizzes and exams, and I've also color coded the courses just for a quick visualization of which course has what quiz or exam. I would also suggest that you write in how much the quiz or exam weighs relative to your total grade, just so you can kind of anticipate which quiz or which exam is going to be the most important. Any exams or quizzes that have happened, I just gray out so I know that they have happened. And and I can just keep on moving down the list. Now, as for the remaining months of the semester, I filled out some of the important dates, but because I have a course change in the middle of my semester, I haven't filled out all the information yet. However, as you may notice, May 2019 is the very first sheet in my workbook. As May passes, I'll move June to the front and then July to the front and so forth. 
Now, if you use multiple devices, it's actually really simple for you to sync this workbook to your other devices so you can keep on updating the file without having to send it back and forth. All you need is a OneDrive account and you just upload it to the OneDrive and when you save, it just uploads it or shares it to the SharePoint and when you open it on another device, you will get the same workbook with all the things that you've put in it. If you're looking for a new way to organize yourself, I do recommend this Excel method. Really, most of the effort is just at the beginning when you're laying out all your assignments and due dates. Other than that, it's just a really nice planner or resource to refer to and make quick updates to. If you're the person who really likes to color code and use a lot of colors, I think that you'll really enjoy this method because I'm exactly like that too. So if you do try this method, make sure to let me know down in the comments and let me know how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel to get more ideas on how to stay organized and be successful in school. Thanks for watching.